Good morning. We're announcing a new Apple TV that now supports 1080p. It comes with a streamlined new user interface, retains the same very low price of $99. It's available next week. Today, we're announcing the new iPad. So the new iPad has a retina display with more pixels than any mobile device has ever had. It is 2048 by 1536 resolution, over 3 million pixels. It has greater color saturation. It has the A5X quad core graphics. This is the best mobile display that has ever shipped, and it's a real revolution. So it has a 5 megapixel eyesight camera, advanced optics with an IR filter, autofocus, auto white balance, face detection. HD video recording, now a 1080p resolution. Voice dictation. And now you'll see there's a new key on the bottom, a microphone. So you can type or you can just tap it, speak into your iPad, and it will dictate what you have to say. The new iPad supports English in US English, British English, Australian English, French, German, and of course now Japanese. So the new iPad has 4G LTE, it is fast, HSPA Plus and dual carrier HSDPA networking. It's 3G world ready. It has a personal hotspot. This new iPad has the most wireless bands of any device that has ever shipped. Well, the new iPad delivers the same 10 hours of battery life. And when you're on 4G, nine hours, amazingly thin at just 9.4 millimeters and amazingly light at just 1.4 pounds. This is a really big deal. And now the line looks like this, starting with an iPad 2 for just $399 and $529 for Wi-Fi plus 3G. And the new iPad at $499 all the way up to $829. So there really is something for everyone at every end of the spectrum. You'd be happy to know that the pre-orders start today. GarageBand has a new version. It adds some great new features. The best new feature is something we call Jam Session. So now up to four iOS devices running GarageBand can all play together and at the same time create a new song over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. iMovie, also a new update. Well now, not only you can create a movie, but you can also create a movie trailer as well. iPhoto for iPad. With iPhoto, it'll use the same photo library on your iPad or iPhone, but it gives you great new ways to browse through all those photos. And it has truly breakthrough ways to edit your photos with new multi-touch gestures. And we've packed it with professional quality effects. And there's powerful new brushes for applying those effects. And if you want to use more than one device, let's say you want to take a picture with your iPhone 4S, but keep your iPhoto library in your iPad, you can do that directly with photo beaming to beam high resolution photos over between your devices. And we've invented a great new way to share your photos with your friends in a way that tells stories of the places you've visited and the events you've been at. We call these photo journals. And these photo journals use iCloud as a great new way to share your photos. It's going to be priced at just $4.99, and it's available starting today on the App Store. We've now brought all of iLife to the iPad with all, all new versions of these amazing applications. So everything from iWork and iLife. So don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't create on an iPad. I hope you can see why we believe the iPad has enormous potential and is the ultimate poster child of the post-PC world. I'd like to thank all of those employees at Apple and everyone who supports Apple for making today possible. It's the privilege of a lifetime for me to work with so many innovative people, the most innovative on earth. Now, only Apple could deliver this kind of innovation in such a beautiful, integrated, and easy to use way. It's what we love to do. It's what we stand for. And across the year, you're going to see a lot more of this kind of innovation 
We are just getting started. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you.